Hey there guys and welcome to the latest installment of Event Running. This week we have the second installment in the Ice series, the Glacial Cavern. And an uh, interesting note about this week's event, they are introducing a new concept here, a four-piece item set. Uh, and as you can see, some of this stuff is it's pretty good. I still don't care for the boots just because of the lower move speed than Ravenous. Uh, I'll have to see. I mean, I did pull them, so I might take a look at what Holy Smite is all about, see if it's any good. And if it's good enough, then maybe, you know, I'll try it out. Um, and the, of course, the, uh, the weapons just keep getting better and better, and rarer and rarer. But, <laughs> yeah, that's King's Road. Um, so, I'm just gonna go ahead and go into the event. And it's another arena-style one, and unlike the previous events, or not previous, uh, just the re more recent ones, I guess is a better word. These ones are actually somewhat difficult. So, um, getting in here, you see they have some new enemies, Glacial Soldiers. And there's two types, there's the normal so sword-wielding ones, and then your archer guys are they're actually, they shoot ice orbs instead of arrows. So that's interesting. Uh, they have more undead enemies, they brought back Glacial Beasts. Um, so yeah, that's... Oh, and there's uh, some new... Uh, 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 other new ice enemies coming up. Uh, oh, well, there he is. The uh, Glacial Menace. Two abilities, Ice Armor and Ice Smash. The Frost Armor I'm so fond of using is now on enemies, and I do not like it one bit. <laughs> um, they also brought back Suicide Ghoul-like enemies, except they named them Ice Martyrs. Self-Detonates is their ability description. Um because clearly they needed to bring back some sort of suicide glue like enemy to keep things interesting if that's even a proper word for it so yeah the see the first couple were pretty light just introducing like kind of what what the events all about and now you're kind of getting into i don't know about wave this is this wave i don't know there's there's a point where it starts getting noticeably tougher uh Let's, uh, I'll just, I'll just keep running and see where, where it comes from, ah, where it happens. Okay, alright, oh, undead archmages, which are kind of annoying, um, in that they have their slow move. It's, it's not bad on its own, and the archmages' attacks aren't that, like, damaging, but there are some enemies here that do dish out the damage, and those slows, if you're not being careful, if or if you don't have teleport, um, they could be a bit of an issue. Okay, uh, so getting in here, and we have our first combo, or I guess I'm just gonna call it a combo with two glacial menaces and one glacial beast. Key here for this wave: oh, first to not die. Woohoo! <laughs> Close one there. Um, second, don't focus the menaces. They have ice armor. Which is a pain to deal with, as anybody who's ever faced off against a wizard knows. Which is nobody since this game doesn't have PvP. But, anyway, uh, so don't focus them. Focus the Glacial Beasts, because they have burst. And, yeah, you don't, you, yeah. It's, it's a lot easier in this event to get off, caught off guard by the Glacial Beasts than it was in the Icy Ruins one. And, it's getting caught off guard by the Glacial Beasts is a very bad thing to have happen to you. Let's take a look. Okay, wave six, or seven, sorry. Oh my god, what was that? Uh, I got hit by something. I don't know what it was, but... <laughs> I was... Hmm... It was probably either a, uh, one of the ice martyrs that just happened to appear really, really close to me, or this guy managed to get off his ice smash on me. I wasn't really paying attention, um, which is probably a bad thing, since this is an event where you kind of need to pay attention, but oh well. Uh, let's see here. So one fun thing to note is that these Glacial Menaces run at a similar speed to the Infernal Berserkers from the Infernal series, which is weird considering they're all decked out in ice armor, but that's how it is. Uh, you like to use Blizzard to slow them down, even though they don't have the fire trails, it's just nice to have them not, like, always on your tail. Okay, so three Glacial Beasts in this wave. It's gonna be great. Uh, 
try to keep them all in your sights. Uh, obviously, it's not always possible if you're just running around all the time like I am. Um, uh, but otherwise, yeah, just try not to get caught off guard, especially by those ice ripples. The uh, ice ripple actually does two sets of damage, one when it's initially created and one when it explodes like that right there. So if you get caught for the full for the full for both hits on that, it could quite possibly get you killed. All right, so on to wave nine, penultimate wave. I like that word. Uh, and we have I think there's three glacial menaces on this one. Last one we had three glacial beasts. This one we have three glacial menaces. And then the next one we'll have our boss character and a mix of glacial beasts and glacial menaces, which is always super fun to deal with. Um, again, as with the previous wave that had both beasts and menaces on it, try not to focus the menaces, because they will not, in the time that it takes you to kill them, well, first off, as a wizard, say, you'll probably be running around a lot, which means that you probably won't be able to see what the glacial beasts are doing, which, as mentioned before, could lead to your demise. So try to get the glacial beasts down first, is essentially my point that I've made like three times. Okay, and our boss here is the Returned Gladiator. He kind of looks like a cross between a shadow enemy and an ice enemy, and I am stuck here and I can't run. Okay, there we go. Alright, I lost sight of the Glacial Beast. That's bad. Oh, here comes the Ice Ripple. Oh, and the Glacial... Uh, glace, ah, Icicle Storm. I don't know where I was getting Glacial from. Um, yeah. Okay, so yeah, just just running around. Normally, I would leverage teleport and blizzard. Uh, not teleport. I would leverage blizzard and life steal a lot more than uh, um, teleport for uh, survivability, because normally, if you're teleporting around the map, uh, you won't be able to see what some enemies are doing. But in this case, I do use teleport a lot because you kind of need to be on the move. Just because there's so many enemies and you just don't want them to swarm you. I mean, when you get closer to the end, you can you can conceivably just use Blizzard and Life Steal instead of teleporting around like mad. But until then, you might want to leverage teleport a little more than than in the previous events. So. Coming to a close on this run, um, like I said, it's, it's, it's more tedious, is probably the better word, than the other events. And, I don't know, I thought it was pretty fun, just to see, just to see something that was, act, was more challenging than the ones that we've seen recently. Like, I mean, Throne of Adranos was, the Lord Adranos was just terrible. Um, the Blighted Graveyard was more tedium than actual difficulty, and the past one was just, it was, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't that hard. And so I got the Magic Guard Great Staff, legendary, typical. Um, yeah, it's, it's not that great compared to Sky Bowl. So I'm going to drop that. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll be trying for that this week, I guess. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run, and I'll see you next week for the next installment of the Ice series.